From KPU News in Austin, you're watching Texas This Week with Ashley Goodo. Good Sunday morning. We are now just about one week away from the start of early voting in the March primary election. This morning, we're hearing from one of the candidates in what has become one of the most talked about races, the Republican primary for attorney general. But first, let's get to the three things you need to know in Texas politics. Texas was hit by what Governor Greg Abbott calls the most significant icing event in decades this week. While this weather event was significantly less severe than the February 2021 winter storm, many Texans were nervous about the condition of the state's power grid. Even at peak demand, the grid was fully functioning. The result, Governor Greg Abbott says, of the legislation lawmakers passed after the storm. As we approach the one-year anniversary of the February 2021 storm that claimed the lives of hundreds of Texans and left millions in the dark and without power for days, Democratic candidate for Governor Beto O'Rourke launched his Keeping the Lights On tour Friday, planning to visit more than 20 communities in 12 days, highlighting the grid's previous failure, discussing his plan to fix it, and celebrating the Texans who stepped up to help their neighbors. The tour comes to Austin next week. Mixed news on the Omicron surge of COVID-19, the number of new cases in Texas, the Austin Metro and country as a whole is trending downward. But John Hopkins reports America reached a grim milestone this week. 900,000 people in the U.S. have died from complications of the virus since the start of the pandemic. The Texas Department of Health and Human Services reports more than 79,000 of those people were here in the Lone Star State. The Republican primary race for Texas Attorney General has become one of the most contested races on the ballot. Three elected officials are challenging Attorney General Ken Paxton. We reached out to his campaign and his office to request an interview, but never heard back. His challengers did respond. Last week, we heard from Judge Eva Guzman, who resigned from the Texas Supreme Court to run, and Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush. This morning, East Texas Congressman Louis Gomert tells us why he's running. First, tell our viewers why you want to be the next Attorney General of Texas. Well, it wasn't something that I ever dreamed of being, anything like that. But after the 2018 election, when I didn't feel like our Attorney General was pursuing uh, evidence that I saw uh, was presented uh, that seemed to be quite significant voter fraud or election fraud in Dallas, and then in 2020, there were some examples that were presented to our attorney general. He did nothing about them. And with the border, I, I, you know, he shows up for press conferences down there, but I haven't seen him do anything to help protect Texas. And uh, when it comes to things like, uh, well, he was asked for an attorney general opinion last summer. And at the time I announced in November, he had not come out with an opinion. He still hasn't on whether or not the Secretary of State can give waivers of the Texas law passed by the legislature, signed by the governor, that requires sequential numbering of ballots that will take care of so much uh, potential election fraud. So there were a number of issues, but particularly the border issue and election issue, but the coup de grace was when seven of his top people, including his very top person, all of whom he hired for their integrity and their intelligence. Finally, it had enough, and they sent a letter to the FBI outlining crimes they believe he had committed of uh, bribery, of uh, corruption, and also of abuse of office. Those three crimes were things that they had alleged. And these were people that are known for their integrity. He hired them for their integrity. And, uh, you know, he's told some people I've talked to that, uh, gee, I had a bunch of criminals vote, uh, working for me and uh, they were stabbing me in the back and I was going, no, no, that's not the case. Ashley, it reminds me of that scene in The Natural when Robert Redford throws the payoff money back at the judge, the corrupt judge, and the corrupt judge said, I thought I could count on your integrity. And Robert Redford says, you're about to. Well, he hired them for their integrity and that's why they had to file what they did. And that was just too much. We needed a new attorney general. 
One of your opponents, Judge Eva Guzman, has been critical of you. The bottom line is he hasn't seen a courtroom as a lawyer since 2005. He left for Congress. I understand, I've read, that he's missed 846 votes during his time in Congress. What's your response to that? Well, first of all, it was Paxton that put out the hit piece about missed votes. There, there have been over 10,000 votes, uh, between 10 and 20,000 votes, and many of them, like uh, the journal vote, uh, many of them are completely meaningless. Many times they have a suspension bill so that they can get you to the floor and they can whip you to try to get you to vote for something you're not going to vote for. So, yeah, I missed uh, less than 10 percent of the bills, much less than 10 percent. I vote on the important bills. As far as Eva Guzman now, Eva has said, gee, I hadn't been in the courtroom in 17 years. And actually, I have been in courtrooms within the last 17 years. But unlike her, in my job on the Judiciary Committee and being in Congress, I am constantly cross-examining witnesses. I'm constantly making arguments, oral arguments. Uh, and nobody, including Paxton, has my background of trying cases. Give our viewers some final thoughts on why they should elect you over the other candidates. Well, uh, the other two people running, George P. Bush and Eva Guzman, they're nice people. They don't have my experience. Paxton doesn't have my experience. As I look back over the need for an, a good attorney general, I saw that they were not going to be in a runoff with Paxton. I felt like I could be, and I felt like I would be the most tenacious attorney general that we could have when it came to enforcing the law and making sure we don't have an attorney general that has been convicted of bribery, corruption, abuse of office that he's being invest that our current AG is being investigated for, uh, and. We will see, but we cannot afford to lose that office to someone who can't be trusted. We reached out to Attorney General Ken Paxton's campaign and office multiple times requesting an interview. No one returned our calls or emails. As election season ramps up, we want to remind you of some important dates. Early voting starts on Valentine's Day, so you can show your love for democracy by going out to vote. Your application for a mail-in ballot has to be received by the county clerk on February 18th. Early voting ends February 25th, and election day is March 1st. Keep in mind, Texas doesn't require voters to register with the political party. This means you have the freedom to vote in either the Democratic or Republican primary. You'll just tell the election workers which ballot you want when you go in to vote. That's Texas This Week. <laughs>